If you want to see one of the happiest moments for me since moving into this house, then stay tuned till the end because we ripped these top kitchen cupboards out. You have no idea how happy I am to see the back of these. If you are new here, then welcome back to part two of our kitchen renovation journey. If you have missed the first part, then it will be the video before this one on my page. So just as a little recap, this is what the kitchen looked like when we moved in and before we did any work to it. In the previous video, Callum did make a start on ripping some of the cupboards out and taking some of the wallpaper off the walls. And as I mentioned in the previous this video we are doing some of this ourselves just to save on cost because getting your kitchen done is not cheap so the first thing that we started off doing was emptying all the cupboards out and it's amazing how much stuff you accumulate once you've been in a house for a short period of time there was actually so many boxes it was actually ridiculous but we just dumped all these in the conservatory and made a little makeshift kitchen for the week because that is how long we were given roughly for the kitchen to be done from start to finish so as you can see this kitchen was a total dumping ground like we just literally dumped everything in there because it just wasn't the way we wanted and we were just desperate to get it done. I think this maybe pushed us to get the kitchen done quicker because we were sick of living like it. Not also forgetting the fact that all the kitchen cupboard doors kept falling off. So once all the kitchen cupboards had been emptied, Callum then went around and took all the kitchen cupboards off the walls, which this honestly made me so happy to see the back of these cupboards because I hated them so much. And this is what the kitchen looked like after we took the cupboards off the walls, so stay tuned for part three to see what we do next. 